parallel lines and transversals. So parallel lines are lines that never meet and think of train tracks as parallel lines. So here's an example of some parallel lines and we use little arrows to show the lines are parallel. Now if we have a line that goes through two parallel lines, we call that a transversal. So that's your transversal there. And there's three special results whenever we have parallel lines in a transversal. Let's have a look. So let's draw two parallel lines with the transversal. So these are the two parallel lines. Now, these two angles are actually going to be equal to each other. And we can see that these two angles are both inside the parallel line. So this one's in, they're both inside. So the parallel lines are here, but they're on opposite sides of the transversal. And we call these alternate angles and they're going to be equal. So these are all alternate angles and they're going to be equal. You can have the other two angles being alternate as well because they're also inside the parallel lines and on opposite sides of the transversal. And they always form like a Z shape inside. So you got here, this angle and this angle, you can see forming a Z shape and this one and this one also forming a Z shape. All right, that's our first one. Let's look at another one. So two more parallel lines and a transversal. Now these two angles will also be equal. And you can see they're both on the same side of the parallel lines. So like they're both above the parallel lines and they're on the same side of the transversal. And we call these, and those angles are also equal. And we call these ones corresponding angles. And corresponding angles are equal. And there's, up, there's a lot of sets of corresponding angles. So these two angles are also corresponding. These two angles are also corresponding. And these two angles are also corresponding. And corresponding angles are going to make like an F shape. So you can see this angle in green is kind of is using these two lines. And that's equal to this angle here and you can see it forms like an F shape with those ones. Let's look at our last special property with parallel lines and transversals. So two more parallel lines and a transversal. Now these two angles, well they're not going to be equal but they're actually always going to add up to 180 degrees. And these ones are called co-interior angles. So co-interior angles are not equal, but they add to 180 degrees. And these ones are both inside, so they always have to be inside the parallel lines and on the same side of the transversal. So these two angles over here are also co-interior and will also add up to 180 degrees. One of the most useful diagrams to get to know with parallel lines and transversals is going to be this one. Where these two angles are going to be equal because they're corresponding, but then this angle is also going to equal this angle because it's alternate and this angle will also equal this angle because they're corresponding. This angle equals this angle because they're vertically opposite. This angle equals this angle because they're vertically opposite. 
this angle equals this angle because they're vertically opposite. This angle equals this angle because they're corresponding. This angle equals this angle because they're vertically opposite. And this angle equals this angle because they're corresponding. And also, x plus our circle is always going to equal 180 degrees because they're both inside, being co-interior. But also, up here, they're supplementary with each other. And down here, same thing, because they lie on this straight line. So this is one of the most useful diagrams that you should get to know that in every case, there's only, there's a, you can always label a diagram just with two angles only. So let's just have a look at one. So if you were given this angle was 60 degrees, you can actually get every other angle you see here. Because this one's 60 degrees, because it's vertically opposite. This one's 60 degrees, because it's alternate. This one is 120 degrees, because they're co-interior and have to add up to 180. That's vertically opposite to our last 120. That's corresponding with our last 120. That's vertically opposite with our last 120. And this one's vertically opposite to give us 60. So in any diagram, there's only actually two angles that are going to be equal when you have parallel lines in a transversal. Thank you.